Hello, I'm Gavin Gibinoni and welcome to the podcast Moving Science. This is a series of podcasts that we will be doing over the next year on how to best manage and maintain your health in multiple sclerosis. I'm a academic neurologist based in the East End of London and I uh, work between Queen Mary University of London and Bart's Health NHS uh, Trust and I do all things uh, multiple sclerosis. The whole purpose of this Moving Science uh, podcast uh, series is to try and upskill or at least engage with the wider MS community. And our particular target audience is both trained healthcare professionals, and this includes trainee doctors and students as well, and non-healthcare professionals. We want to target people with multiple sclerosis, their carers, advocates, and you know the wider MS community in general. And of course, everyone who has an interest, uh, even beyond MS, are welcome to join. Now, the reason why we want you to tune in is because we recently launched the MS Innovation Challenge, and this is a challenge to try and uh, speed up innovative ideas and the development of innovative ideas uh, in the MS space. And by creating uh, a podcast which features you know, different discussions amongst MS experts, people with multiple sclerosis uh, and their carers, we'll hopefully be able to put the concept of innovation and what we're trying to do with the uh, MS Innovation Challenge into a broader context that's relevant to the, the wide MS community. Now, our primary aim, both with the MS Innovation Challenge and the Moving Science Podcast, is to address the large unmet need that we have in the current management of multiple sclerosis, and particularly MSK. And we would like to talk about what the future of MSK will look like with a special focus on the adoption of new innovations and how this will transform healthcare for people with multiple sclerosis. We anticipate doing about 10 episodes, and this will be scheduled over the year, and, and will possibly run into next year, depending on timing and how popular they are. The thing about podcasts is they're gaining increasing traction because people like to listen to them on the move, you know, when they're commuting, for example, in their cars. You know, and so it's a much easier way of acquiring new information uh, without having to spend time glued to a screen. So we think, you know, podcasts are a, a, a much more engaging format for this type of for the type of content we are trying to put forward we also want this to be a two-way street so it's not us you know the committee steering committee um, who are behind the ms innovation challenge uh, speaking to you we would like you to for example you know drop us an email with suggestions maybe of speakers or on uh, ideas what content you want to cover and maybe even some feedback. You know, we could even do a and a session, for example. And the email address is ms.innovationchallenge at roche.com. Um, I think it's quite important to focus on uh, Roche and Genentech because both of these companies have been you know, very innovative themselves in delivering um, you know, new medications for people with different diseases, not only multiple sclerosis, and innovating in biomarker and digital biomarkers. And I think, you know, this is um, a good opportunity to thank our uh, sponsors for sponsoring this initiative because uh, they kind of represent all what we, we, we think innovation should be uh, all about. My concept of innovation is that it's without it, you know, we just wouldn't move forward. And there's a famous economist, jo uh, Joseph Schumpeter, who always said that, um, uh, you know, innovation is about Creative destruction. So you get new ways of innovation, and the old way, and the old, the old concepts die away and are replaced by new innovation. And I think you know, we can very be we can be very proud of what we've done in multiple sclerosis over the last 25, 30 years, and um, that we've delivered very effective treatments uh, to manage the disease. But there's still clearly a large uh, unmet need uh, in relation to managing uh, MS. And I think this is a very, very good opportunity for us to discuss what innovation is um, and to try and marry it up with what the unmet need is and to see if we can develop 
or at least turbocharge healthcare improvement in people with multiple sclerosis. So I want you to think about this, uh, and then we will uh, uh, take it forward with future podcasts. I also want to say to you that the next podcast is going to be about the holistic care in uh, multiple sclerosis, and it'll be done with Agnes Strykin, who's a uh, Lithuanian neurologist based in the UK. She's working in Devon, and she's been very innovative in how she's configured her MS practice to include lifestyle and holistic management of the disease and she will be able to talk we'll be able to talk with her about how you can transform people's lives by doing simple things really and by you by simply activating them to become more innovative. Anyway, enjoy. Mm-hmm.